We're Are live. We? We're live! Chef Jay Barnard here, and this is Late to Plate. What's this, Torn? That's the belt. What's this, Torn? Oh, that's our characters. <sighs> I you? always wanted a belt. That doesn't turn out well on the camera. It's a lot, of, a lot of glare if you hold it like that. Now it's better. It's beautiful, though, isn't it, right? Remember all those uh, people I thought were, like, anticipating us coming on air? Yeah, none of them are watching yet. Doesn't fit me though. Oh, might Do I have be to lose some weight? Maybe I gotta get you on the Keato diet. Anyways, Michael Landsberg, I know you never watch and you probably never will. Well, maybe you might. Maybe Casey watches. You know Casey Landsberg? No, no eh? She's, uh, she videotapes the Sick Not Week videos. I used to watch Off the Record. I liked Off the Record. <laughs> yeah, I liked Off the Record too because did, did you know that uh, his favorite wrestler was Mark Calloway, The Undertaker? Did not know that. No, that is a that is a tidbit of Mike Landsberg, Michael Landsberg. And if you call him Mike, he doesn't like it, so you got to call him Michael Landsberg. Mm -hmm. So Michael Landsberg, I have something right here. You know, since I am uh, a champion, a mental health advocate, also, you know, maybe you should come and get the belt there, Michael Landsberg. Be a bit odd if he was wearing it. I mean, it, it says say freshwater. It cuisine does say freshwater it. cuisine on it, eh? So maybe we should put out a, a challenge to any chef out there that thinks they can cook fish better than me. I don't know if we have enough room in this kitchen, though. I'm just putting Well, it you there. know, maybe we should give a shout-out to maybe Gusto. Hey, Chris Knight, remember me? We, we did this before with Chris Knight and Gusto, right? I we, met we've Chris done Knight, this a few times. And Chris Knight hasn't contacted me. I don't know why. He should be watching. I mean, we have thousands of viewers. we got two people watching, one of which is Grace. She hey, Grace, it. how you doing? Anyways... Chris Knight, Gusto, if you're watching, we have a TV series for the belt, don't we, Torn? Yeah, keep hey, that Torn. one hush hush. Where are we gonna put it over here? Uh, just off to the side. Hey, look at it. it's the Nutri Grill. Oh. <laughs> okay, the other exciting thing is, is we got a uh, Tukes in, eh? Yeah, we got our Tukes. We got our Tukes in, so we're looking for some, uh, you know, great stocking stuffers, it right? It is a great stocking. Okay? stocking. And we also have some of the most phenomenal. Original freshwater cuisine crumbs. No Cajun, though. No Cajun, Cajun, sorry, we have no Cajun. Uh, but the original could go in the stocking, too, right? You could get that. You should have a hat in there. That's it. A hat. Maybe a whole tulipy. Maybe a whole tulipy. Hey, whole tulipy, eh? So uh, it's an exciting, uh, exciting show today, right? Because we're pairing up with the uh, Clover Belt and the Love Local Boxes. Did I say yeah, that right? So this is the first, is it a three-part or a four-part? Once think, a month for three I think, weeks? I think it's three weeks. Once a month for three months. Yeah, so, so three. this month, next month, and January. Yes. So this month, we're doing the great and talented Tilapia. <laughs> <laughs> tulipy, the great and talented Tulipy. For whatever reason... There's this other company that thinks it's a tulipy, eh? Tilapia. Tilapia. Anyway, it's exciting because it's underutilized, undervalued, underappreciated. It's actually part of the salmon family, isn't it? Yeah, salmon and the whitefish family. And the, yeah, so it's a Cisco. It's got the perfect size. It's a nice serving where you can, like today's recipe, we're going to actually be uh, stuffing it whole with some local wild rice that uh, was brought to you by the Canadian Wild Rice Lady. Right out of Wabagoon. Right out of Wabagoon. And uh, all the vegetables today uh, are from the Clover Belt. Uh, just a heads up, you might want to write down if you're watching the video and later on if you're watching the video... Uh, because we added some things, didn't we, Tor? Well, it would have been tough. It would have been tough with carrots and carrots and carrots. Uh, and one acorn squash. <laughs> and one acorn squash. So uh, the only thing we added to the recipe was onion, celery, lemon, and lime. lime. Local lemon you picked? Local lime. You yeah, picked. you know, out of the Kenora lemon fields. Out of the Kenora lemon fields. And uh, that's about it. What happened this week? Anything happened? Well, oh, your uh, you could talk about your uh, your honor. Well, our honor, right? This isn't just about me. I mean, I guess there's two honors, right? We did move into the second stage for Nova. Yeah, right. That's exciting, and that that you know, that's not about me. That's about the whole team. So that's about Torn, and that's about hey Brent Lundy and Finn Lundy and Axel Lundy. How you doing? And uh, you know, my whole team from Joel and James and. And Jody LeBlanc and Joe Boucher and my loving mother, um, Tristan. 
Yeah. That's Who else? Joe the old man. Joe the old... Joe! We love Joe and Rose. Darren Campbell. Uh, Calvin. Kelvin. Who else? Prestige Foods Limited. Uh, Wawa. Macy. Anderson Fisheries. Hey, Macy, how you doing? You watching? Anyways, the point of my whole thing was when I said that, Torn, is that this business is not just about me. It's about everybody that's involved. The Innovation Center, Northwest Business Center, Lobick. Hi, Ali. How you doing? We'll see you tomorrow. Um, right? It's about everybody making the project move forward in a positive way. So that's exciting. And then I got asked to speak. Where? Tarar. <laughs> yeah, how do you say this one? Tarar Sympathy or something? It's at Sympo the It's a symposium. Yeah, the symposium. Uh, I got asked to be on a panel to speak about freshwater fish and uh, freshwater cuisine and our underutilized, undervalued, underappreciated fish. And what was really cool is that our walleye wing is on the website, isn't it? Yeah, Ned Bell actually cooked up walleye wings yeah. last year at the previous terrar. <laughs> at the previous terrar. It's a tongue so, twister. Uh, you know, a big shout out to Rebecca McKenzie uh, who asked me to come down there. It's really exciting for Northwestern Ontario and it's really exciting for freshwater cuisine, isn't it? It's a great honor. Um, yesterday was really exciting too for me, wasn't it? So yesterday we got to move a smoker out of the out of there, didn't we? Well, that was... That I, was I don't know funny. if that was necessarily exciting, but I, I did have quite well, the... Look at the muscles I got from that. Yeah. Three thousand... Oh, that kind of hurt, actually. Yeah. Well, I went home and had the coldest beer possible after that one. Yeah, you, you get to have beer. And then I flew to Winnipeg. Drove. Flew. In a car. In a car. Actually, Dodge truck. Not a podium. <laughs> and when it met uh, two people that I've been waiting to meet for the last year, right? Yeah. Uh, which is Ulysses and uh, Jim, who's the new president of Prestige's. Hi, Josh. I know you're not watching, but if you are, well, wait a second. The office stops to watch us. And uh, very exciting meeting them, finally. We've been here a year, uh, and I look forward to uh, working with them and continuously working with them to bring value-added products out, not only to uh, Ontario, not only to Canada, but to the world. Is that crazy? That's great. That's crazy. Okay, so let's get started, eh, Torn? Let's get to the... Let's get to the nitty-gritty. Okay, so we're just going to get our uh, pan. Get your oven set up at uh, 400 degrees, right? We're going to let that sit there for a minute. We're going to turn the heat on the old fry pan, because what we want to do is we want to... Uh... How come we don't use the wok anymore? Well, I just find that this is a little too big for the wok, right? I'm just making... I know, but I, li I like the wok. The wok used to be our thing. Well, I can use the walk next week. Mm. Well, well actually, i got a killer one for next week. But anyways, we're just going to cut the onions up. Nice little uh, fine dice. This is going to go into the wild rice. Nice, eh? Nice you know what the nice thing about... You, you, you like onion, eh? Onion's my favorite vegetable. Really? Yeah. Didn't you say you like to see... No, lemon? limes are my... Uh, lemons lemon. are my favorite fruit. Really, eh? So if anyone wants to buy me a fruit basket, just give me a bag of onions. <clears throat> yeah, and if you're looking to uh, get freshwater cuisine, any kind of uh, Christmas presents, we're looking for a new laptop. I heard uh, Black Friday is uh, like a great place to save money, isn't it? It is. Yeah, I would also take a case of San Pellegrinos. <laughs> yeah, a case of San Pellegrinos would be great too because I can drink them too. Those are pretty nice. Okay, so into the, into the oil we go. Then we take some celery. I like to just cut those off like that, Torn. They make nice like garnish, that. though. Yeah, they, well, actually, they do make good. And you know what? They're all, they're good, too, to put into your salad. Hmm. guess so. What a beautiful fish that is, though, eh? Beautiful for smoking. Beautiful for baking. You can fillet it. You can do all, like, we're going to be doing, see, on the celery, I like to just press it down like that. It's just easier to, uh... Is that the technique? Well, it's just a... My technique. It's just easier to see how you can align it. Like little matchies, 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 eh? I did actually. So, folks, the uh, local love boxes did not have celery, right? No, they did have celery. Oh, they did? We just didn't get celery. Oh, we didn't get celery. Okay, so they had celery. They had celery. And they had onions? They did have onions. They oh. had nice local onions. Oh, nice. I wonder where they're coming from. Yeah, did not... they tell you? No, they just said they're not yours. Oh. Okay, so, um, you like celery? No. No, eh? Only okay. if it's in my Caesar. Hmm. Had an interesting talk about that one. 
Mm -hmm. So you did. Would be nicer with some uh, walleye stock in it, though, wouldn't it? Yeah, let's keep that quiet. That's our secret. So I keep the skins on, folks. Do you wash them first? Yeah, they're always washed. I just thought maybe you liked the dirty carrot. Well, nothing wrong with the dirty carrot. It just means more nutrients, right? Well, fresh out of the for the uh, extra fiber. For the uh, liquid fertilizer. Well, let's keep that secret. Ah, a little carrot too, huh? Been on the road, haven't been able to eat very much. <coughs> you, you gonna finish those or are they uh what's that? You no, know, here's a chef, you're not supposed to eat in the kitchen. You know, it's unsanitary. What are you talking about? Well, you I gotta know, you try your product. You don't want the health unit coming and bursting in here. Well maybe Casey wants to come and try some fish. Better not tell him you're catering. Or how about uh Yeah. We're not catering by the way. That's a good carrot. Where are they from? Uh, a farm. That's nice. Okay, little tossy tossy. Folks, you're gonna need to get some salt. Come on, why isn't the light on? Man, that brought a lot of light, eh? Oh yeah, a whole new set. Yeah. Pepper. Okay. Here's one, right? You can actually get this at. Uh, it's a good celery torn. You can actually get this. At Cloverbelt, can you? Cloverbelt, Safeways, it's all over the place. What is this? Who? What is this? So that is a citrus dill seasoning from Crazy Good Spices. Crazy Good Spices. Friend of the show. Crazy Good Spices. We found some spices to use there, Grace. So we throw a little bit of that in there. Some of Torn's fine garlic. Isn't that nice, eh, Torn? The finest. Now we let sturdy. this do a little... Uh, do that a little fry fry. Get a little uh it's a nice ho pan. Hotel pan for uh our wild rice. Wild rice takes anywhere between uh 35 to 40 minutes, depending on what you're doing. <clears throat> One cup of rice to three cups of liquid. Did Mo pick this rice? I think it came from Shoal Lake Mo. How did you know? I had a feeling. I had a feeling. Okay, so one cup. It's a little more than a cup. Was it? No. Oh. A little spilly spilly. Gonna put that nicely right there. Then you know what I did, eh, Torn? What's that? Because we gotta think of my grandma, right? Oh yeah. So folks, if you have, you can just add the water if you want. But we like to add flavor here at uh, the Test Kitchen. At Freshwater Cuisine Headquarters Test Kitchen. Finest Test Kitchen in all Northwestern Ontario, eh? I think so. Chicken in a mug. So would a bouillon cube also be acceptable? Bouillon cube would work, or if you have like uh, a bit of stock. A bit of stock, that'd work. Damn, we're out. <laughs> right out. <clears throat> That's going well. Give this a little stir torn. How many cups of water is that? Three, Three to cups one? of water to one cup of rice. In it goes. This, this is a really easy recipe today, isn't it? Well, you know, it's nice to keep it simple for the love local boxes. I mean, the one woman was concerned about the fish just staring back at her. In Jeez. goes the uh, vegetables. It smells good. I have to take a couple of vegetables. Yeah, take a couple. Mm. Then we give it a little stir. A little hot. A little hot, eh? Boy, that looks good, doesn't it? Mm, it does look tasty. Now we need some of the finest uh, tin foil. Into the old closet, eh? Feels like you never left sometimes. Hey, Marco Mathis, remember this one? Hello. <laughs> so that's how you come out of the closet. That's how I came out of the closet. Isn't that something? <clears throat> Very flamboyantly. I know. Okay, so then you take some tin foil over the top, into the oven, set at 400 degrees, 35 to 40 minutes. Very Isn't that nice, eh? Clean this up over here. Don't want a dirty station. Nope. We're going to need this again. 
Okay, now let's get to the, uh, the is that easy? Easiest rice, nice rice, wild rice, local wild rice, pilaf. Um, brought to you in part by the Clover Belt. So, we got some uh, winter squash going on here. We got some local carrots going on here. We got another winter squash going on here. What else do we got? Uh, we got, oh, you grabbed the carrots. Oh, there's the other. There's some uh, red onion. You want a red onion? Oh, there's some, here we go. <clears throat> We're gonna need these. Some local garlic. Put some of that in there. Always local. Always local. Okay, so then we're going to take the seeds out. We always, you know, one I mean, of these... You're ahead of the show today. You know. One of these times, Torn, we're actually going to use... You know, they probably would have made, made a nice garnish on something. It would have made a good garnish on our fish, wouldn't it? Mm. Okay, so all you want to do, the rustic cut, Torn. So all we're doing is making a roasted vegetable that's going to go into the... Uh, into the tin foil with the fish. Get some so of that nice fish flavor. So you're actually cooking the vegetables with the fish. Which is exciting, right? Because it's all one oh, Plus it takes down on the dishes. Takes so that's down. my least favorite part about cooking. Yeah, you don't like the dishes. Huh? I do not like the dishes. Don't you see me running out of here after the show? You know, you know who used to like the dishes? Mo. Mo. Should we bring Mo back? <laughs> Mo, how you been? We got your ROE, Mo. We didn't thank Mo. Mo, Mo was a big part of the project. The project wouldn't have moved forward without Mo. That's it. He was a great cook, too. He did make some nice white fish. Yeah. Not really fish, but... Okay, in there. Then I just take some carrots. Just a couple carrots. Nice thick cut. Yeah, you, you, you just like to move it around a little bit, right? That's it. That's all we got for the vegetables. <clears throat> A little bit of salt and pepper. Some of those nice fingerling potatoes they had would have been nice. They would have been nice, eh? Didn't get none of those, though. A little bit of oil. A little bit of Grace's favorite, eh? Citrus dill. Citrus dill, right. Pretty good at the toss, aren't we? Like a toss expert. You gotta hold it down like that, you know? Okay. <laughs> were, you, were you doing the limbo there or what? what? That's doing the limbo. Okay, so we got that all ready. We got our rice in the oven. Are we pulling out the star? We're going to start. So this is going to go back here because we're going to put that in the tin foil later, aren't we? Yeah. We're going to start doing the star. Okay, so. I guess we should. This is the great and talented tulipy. Missed it, so it wasn't on the camera. Great and talented tulipy. <laughs> okay, so what did we do here, Torn? We went up the old. Uh... So every tulipy in the Love Local box is already like this. It's so, much... yep, it's already dressed, it's already gilled, it's and already scaled. scaled. So you can eat the skin. So what we do, we just went, pulled out the guts, Yummy. cleaned it up, scaled it. And there's your beautiful tulipy. Just so that from, simple. So from here, like, when you look at that, that is such an amazing fish, isn't it? The size of it, like, as, as you know, you can grill it, you can poach it, you can sous vide it, you can smoke it. You can right? smoke it. We can smoke it, and next week we're going to do something really sexy, since it's wintertime, right? So, um... Literally makes no sense, but keep going. Because well, it's wintertime. Why do you need something extra sexy in the winter? Well, because I'm going to make us an extra sexy smoked tulipy soup. Mm. Yeah, like a smoked tulipy I'm going to say soup isn't necessarily sexy. But it uh, is sexy. Okay, okay. okay, so you get a piece of tinfoil like that. Then you get the finest butter from all of Dryden. Our butter looks a little uh, margarine. -y. It's not margarine. Hot in here. Somebody keeps the heat on. I like to run up the gas bill. Okay. Okay, a little bit of butter on the bottom. Then we use some of. Uh, we're using a lot of Grace's favorite, or I know Dill's citrus spice. dill. Citrus dill. Well, you know it goes great with fish. Okay, citrus. so then what we want to do? Take our line, and we just want to cut it. Is 
Same thing with the lemon. Ooh, I'm getting hungry just watching that lemon. Yeah, you're a lemon guy. That, nice lemon, nice and ripe too. Yeah. You need me a little piece of that lemon. What, you want a piece of the lemon? Yeah, getting, cut in half, give me a little lemon chunk. A little lemon wedge. I haven't eaten today. Okay, so you put the lemon down. So folks, just go to your local Safeway, get, uh, get yourself a lemon and a lime. All you need is one. You didn't then, cut me a very nice lemon chunk. Then from there, your tulipy goes on top. Here's one. Well, that's better. Then. So does it matter if the lemons are on top? No, it doesn't matter. And then I just use the end, right? Put that on there. Oh, <laughs> that one you wanted. Nothing in there. <clears throat> Put that on there. A little bit of more. Uh, Grace's paper. Citrus dill. Citrus dill. This is actually a very, uh, very Mediterranean, isn't it? So I, I've called it a Spanish style tulip. Spanish. That's a good one too. No. Okay, and then you take your lime. You know what the problem with eating lemons in the winter is? Well, your lips are all chapped. It's all dry outside. The lemon kind of burns your chapped lips. Okay, so then you take your uh... magic of television. Hey, how did that happen? Your very talented uh, rice. Oh, look at that, eh? It's nice and nice. That's a mess. I love, I love their rice. You know that? It's very nice. I love their, love their rice. Mm. It's got a nice crisp to it too. From okay, the so what we want to do here? You want to just stuff your tulipy. How do you know when your tulipy is fully stuffed? Well, you just does put it, it burst out? Yeah. Well, you, you know, it's stuffed. I mean, you don't have to like. Do you want it to overflow? Yeah. Well, you want to use up all the rice. Because then what you're going to do when it's cooked is you're going to pull out the rice, right? So I actually did this dish. Uh, first place I did it was at the uh, boathouse when I was there. And we ended up doing 77 of them in uh, three days. Why'd you stop selling them? Uh, couldn't get any more or something. Yeah. So about like that much. Yeah. Then we have this little ricey ricey over here for you. A little snacky poo for later. Okay, and then we take our nice winter veg, our nice whole garlic, our nice carrots, local, and we just put it around here. Isn't this very uh, colorful? It, like, it's a nice winter day. It's perfect. It's perfect for your love local box. Perfect for your love local box. Uh, Bree, I know you got scared when the fish looked at you, but I'm hoping, uh, hoping now that. Uh, you kind of see what I was uh, trying to get at. You could also uh, put this on the grill. So if you're doing a barbecue or you want to do a barbecue because it's, it's plus a great 70, barbecue plus 75 outside, uh, you can put it on the barbecue too if you want it. Really, you could. Isn't that beautiful? Looks great. Look at the color of that. Hey. Okay. Beautiful. With the green and the yellows and the oranges and the fish color and see that? See how their eye goes red? Yeah, that's it's a red eye. You know, like a flight. <laughs> Everyone's favorite. Okay, then you just wrap it up. Is that easy or where to go? Okay, so then now we got to uh, find a. Find a pan. Or a pan. Uh, Grace, if you're looking to buy us any Christmas presents, <laughs> could use a pan. Could use a pan, Grace. Okay. Putting it on a pan. Nope, we're just gonna throw it right in the oven. Well. Oh. So you can also just put it. I'm gonna wrap that one more time. One more time, Thorn. You don't want our tulipy to get all over the test kitchen. We want our tulipy to get all over the. By UT. So this goes in the oven for uh, 45 to an hour, Torn. Oh. It's a slow cook at 400. 400. Um, you might not want to do that. Mm. Okay. Was the lack of pan a poor idea? Hmm. Lack of pan was a poor idea. We got anything? Um, I found a hotel pan. You just, uh, hold on a sec, okay? Are we going to do something out of the magic of television? That's a little hot. That's really hot. Um, 
torn. Uh, yes. We need a hotel pad. So if anyone wondered if we weren't live, this is uh, about as live as it gets. <laughs> Here we go. So then you just have your typical old nice little hotel pad. Oh, yeah, you know everyone carries one Everybody of those. Everybody has one of these with them. And into the old upper yeah. ski for an hour. Isn't that beautiful? Then, it's been an hour. <laughs> should that be going directly on our uh, counter? Probably yes. not. I, I... Yes, it should. Oh, okay. So actually, I'm going to put this back in there for a minute. Open it up a bit. Let the steam out. Oh. Does that smell good or what? Now we're cooking? Did you just grab it? Wow, that oven is full. Food Network, Gusto TV, Bravo, Crave TV, any one of you people that have a network, Shaw, maybe not Shaw, Shaw, yeah, hey, Stick Boy Productions, we need a real set, don't we, Torn? I, I don't know what we don't have here. Uh, you're absolutely right on that one, you know, uh, we've actually done quite well. Haven't we? Yeah, we recently uh, got some new utensils got that we utensils. used. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're... What are we going to plate on, Tarn? Uh, a big plate. Should we plate it on... I'm going to say not a piece of wood. Okay, I know. Right here, Torn. Oh, that's a perfect big plate. That's a beauty. That is a fish plate. Right on there. Okay, so folks, what you're going to want to do is uh, we're going to put the whole fish on here, and then what you're going to do is basically you're just going to put it on your table, and then you're just going to pull the fish. Mediterranean style. Buffet style. Something Canada. Get a little steamy under there, Tornado. Folks. Yeah, going to switch the hats. Folks, the toques work. Where was I? I, I don't really know where we're going here. Anyway, so you put all your meal right onto the plate. It's very Mediterranean, very, what did you call it? Spanish style. Spanish style. So Canadians are going to look at this fish. The love local boxes, you people that bought them, and thanks a lot for the support, and thanks a lot, Jen Sprigget, for uh, actually suggesting it, right? That was a great idea. Great idea to use an underutilized, undervalued, unappreciated fish. So it's going to look weird on your table eating a whole fish with the head there and pulling the thing, pulling the meat off the bones and grabbing the rice out of the inside of the fish, and if anybody's ever gone on a trip... To where? Spain? Well, when I was in the Dominican Republic, that's how they did it. Yeah, see, I went to a few. I never saw a whole fish. No? No. I was pretty drunk, though. That's the other awesome thing about uh, tulipies. You can actually put them on a buffet. So you can actually put them on a buffet cold. It can be on your cold side of the buffet, and then it, you can pull, pull the fish yeah, apart. Yeah, I don't want it cold. No? Well, yeah. you got to try the smoke. Well, we didn't say smoked. We just said a whole fish. Okay. Oh, we're, we're Anything just, else happening? We're, we're really should waiting we, to... Should we talk about next week? Yeah, talk about next week's dish. Okay, next week we're going uh, We're going three more weeks with tulipy. Wow. Next week we're using smoked tulipy from the great and talented Anderson's Fisheries. There you go. From Wawa. Wawa. Hi, Kurt. How you doing? We love you. Um, we're going to take... Smoked tulipy. We're going to take that and make a corn smoked tulipy wild rice chowder. That's a long title. We might want to shorten that one down a bit. What's wrong with that? It's too long. What, you can't say it? Yeah, it's too long. Smoked you don't put that in a tulipy head. corn wild rice chowder. Nah, I think it was longer the first time you said it. Well, what did I forget? I don't know. So we're going to do our first soup on Lake to Plate. Can we have bread with it? I don't know if I... I, I can't make bread. Hey, uh, Brady, do you have any uh, buns you could bring over next week? I can make bread. You want bread? I do want bread. Okay, we'll make some bread too. Okay, so we're doing a smoked tulipy soup. No, chowder. Chowder. And maybe homemade buns, huh? That's very uh, November-ish, isn't it? The soup's perfect this time of year. It's only cold as can be. Okay. We're going back in, Torn. Don't burn yourself. Hmm. Godspeed. Grace, we're also looking for some oven mitts. 
You got some oven mitts, Grace. We need some oven mitts. Godspeed, holy, that's hot. For your chef, shouldn't your hands be like resilient to this by now? Yep. It, it does smell good. I smell a lot of lemon. That's that's what you like. Okay, so you just. Isn't that beautiful, eh? That is a beaut. See the... Mm. El Dante. Oh, uh, yeah. El Dante. So what I like to do here, just take these, squeeze them out as much as you can, right? Take the juice. Yeah. Mm. That was a nice carrot. Those are good carrots. Oh, wow. See? It's tender fish. It's already ripping. Yeah, it's cooked. It's, well, it's cooked, fella. Then, what we want to do here, put it on a bed of vegetables. Bed of vegetables. Doesn't that smell amazing? No, it smells beautiful in here. Oh. oh. The carrots. That's good. Carrots. Try that. Oh. Oh my god, it's hot. Is that good though? Oh. Uh, oh. <laughs> Folks, it was too hot. <laughs> The squash was too hot. <laughs> okay, then. Take your fish. It's a hot fish. Take your local spatula that your mother provided with you because somebody stole ours. We needed them for the children at Northwest Ambulance <laughs> School. Okay. Then you just... Get underneath it. Don't lose the rice. Oh, the rice. You find it with the rice. Don't get the tin foil in there. That's oh, extra aluminum. Take some of your rice. How beautiful is that? That's a nice looking fish. Perfect for dinner tonight. Well, I mean, I'm gonna eat it right now, but you know, for the people cooking their love local boxes. Beautiful. Gonna move this over here because that's uh, all that juice too. Just pour it right on there. You're not gonna pour it on our. I fish? am. I'm going to. Uh... Oh, beautiful. So, wow. You know where this would be great? A tapas restaurant. You know, mm -hmm. that's that's the word I was thinking of for a while. It took me a while. Underutilized, undervalued, unappreciated fish. In our lakes in northwestern Ontario. What do you think something like that would go for in the restaurant? You know what? I'm going to ask you because you actually sold it at a restaurant. I actually did sell it. And we actually sold it for $21.99. That's really cheap. $21.99. You got a whole fish on roasted vegetables. Local vegetables too. Uh, thank you to the Clover Belt. This is a very, very amazing dish that uses a whole fish, which is really never heard of with our freshwater species, right? No, that's it. Here at Freshwater Cuisine, we get creative, we get innovative, we are ahead of the times. Next week, we go with the smoked tulipy chowder and homemade bread for tornado. Bye-bye.